Hello, my loves. It's Michelle at Divine's Purpose. If you are new, welcome. If you are returning, happy Friday. Um, so today, Healing the Divine Masculine came out. So it's a sign from Spirit for me to come on and do a Divine Masculine update. So Divine Masculines, how are you, my babies? Please understand Divine Masculine is an energy. We all carry masculine and feminine within. However, <coughs> if you resonate with Divine Masculine energy, this is for you. <coughs> Let me clear my throat. You all know the fire purge is real if you're not following me on Instagram, but most of you are. Um, so just take care of yourself as we are releasing and um, getting upgraded for our new spiritual tests, right? <laughs> so Divine Masculine specifically have come through a lot of revelations and also understanding of their journey. A lot is shifting for you, my love. So please just flow don't allow the fear the pride or the ego to get the best out of you and uh let's see what archangel metatron has for you today a time for healing the balsamic moon okay let's see what we're healing here listen guys it's no coincidence that i have healing the divine masculine and then a time for healing i feel like and by the way this is my isis oracle deck it's beyond powerful um I work directly with Goddess Isis and um, Shekmet, who's on my hand. They're sisters. Um, but this is understanding that, you know, she, the Divine Feminine, you see it in her eyes, or behind the Masculine. And the Masculine, which is Osiris, hasn't received the eyes yet. It's understanding that something is coming through, through this connection. A time for healing. Um, so I do feel like there's a lot of purging. And I feel like a lot of Divine Feminines are also feeling this too. We're purging not only for ourselves, but for the masculine energy. So let's get into some of the God and God, God and Titans. Let's see what comes through. Thank you so much. Focus, yeah. Okay, Divine Masculines, this is the thing. You know, while you're healing, I do feel like you're going to be receiving some tests through the motion of um, people, places, and things, and you're being asked right now to really focus on what you really want. I do feel that a lot of masculine energies are becoming the king and the emperor energy. I do also feel like this is a manifestation from 2020, so a lot of you have manifested this. I always think of the sun, S-U-N, sun, not the S-O-N. Either way, it's the same thing. And I just think of masculine energy, you know. A lot of you have stared up at the sun and said some things to God um, and may have forgotten about it, but it has been received. And not only that, there's other energies that are out there that have also stared up at the sun and received your energies. So it's this lot of like back and forth that's going through. And you have to remember that when it comes to the moon energy, which is the feminine energy within you, there is a lot of illusions of your life that you may still need to heal. Um, I'm going to get one more here. Okay, so two has come out, which is amazing. And then we have um, God... Odin, which I love him. He really represents the third eye, and that doesn't that makes so much sense here because Osiris in this 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 photo is the third eye, um, which the masculine energy is, right? Um, and this is guidance. You're receiving guidance through the motion of your real eye, your third eye, and the the third one that I want to come out is Typhoon, anger and rage, fire, purge. Okay. So really remain focused right now in this energy, my loves. Um, if there's anger and rage coming through, it's because behind that layer is pain um, and hurt that you haven't dealt with yet. So the fire purge is real. Um, you may feel uh, very, uh, I would probably say like out of body. That's what they're telling me. But you have to remain focused on what's coming in because you're receiving guidance. There are, it's guide, there's guidance coming through, through your spiritual team, God, the universe, however you want to look at it, okay? So let me get some last messages here. It is a quick reading. 
uh, I would like to say that it's the illusion card, the moon and the ten of pentacles, which is luck. It's, you know, <clears throat> I feel like this is a really big direct message for the masculine energy is, you know, don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm still Jenny from the block. Um, this is understanding don't be fooled by the material world. Um, you have a higher calling. And right when I said that, shadow dancer comes on. So I feel like some of you will be dancing with your shadows while we're in this process of your healing. Makes sense though. The spiritual journey is all about a dance anyhow. So I'm gonna use the Oceanic Tarot to clarify some of these energies. And then my ass got to go to the gym. First energy that would like to come out is the Three of Cups reunion. I see this yes okay. <laughs> the two of cups partnership the hangman limbo okay so you know it depends on what you guys and where your journey is to be honest with you <clears throat> there's a direct message here obviously that some of you will be in uh re union energy through the motion of partnership um, however you're in a hangman position through not knowing where to go what to do or fears are holding you back if fears are holding you back in any type of commitment energy um, rage material world then you need to have some more time to heal this I just see the focus card. It's like there's a bow and arrow on the target. I don't know what the target is for you, but you will know it if this resonates for you. It could be a person, place, or thing. And you need to remain focused on that while these spiritual tests are coming through because this is about the healing, the masculine energy, not only with yourself, but um, through the motion of the collective. I'm not surprised the magician came out. I did say that you did manifest this through the motion of staring at the sun or a star. Hope. <laughs> yeah, you know, I feel like this test for you, Divine Masculines, whoever this resonates for, this is really um, gonna be testing your loyalty to the journey, to being a divine masculine, and also testing your journey of how hopeful are you to receive this manifestation, you know? But you do have the tools, um, you know, the magician works with all the tools on the table, left hand up, as he's manifesting through the motion of the divine portal. Very powerful card. Let me split the deck. Yeah, I got the um, chariot, which is action forward. So, and look, strength. Yeah, you guys, you know, it's it's a very clear message here today. I'm not going to keep it longer than this. Y'all are definitely going through something to heal the masculine within you. You have to understand, like, we don't even know what a divine masculine is. Can the real divine masculine please stand up? Listen, this requires a lot of strength, y'all. You are leading and you are becoming the leader that you're meant to in the divine path. It's like divine feminists. We're like, we don't know what divine feminine is, but we made it happen in 2020. And we're still making it happen now. It depends on your journey. It depends on your wave. Everybody has their awakening process. So be patient. But to these divine masculines, they're awakening now. And um, there's a lot of spiritual tests coming through through the motion of anger and rage. Be aware of it. You know, we call it the ego. We call it the beast. We call it whatever you want to call it. Um, but this is really telling me there's healing here. And if you feel led, this is a direct message to some of you stepping into mission. Be inspired by this anger and rage and transmute it into a manifestation for work. Focus. That's exactly what I see. Yo, my masculine's telling me that directly inside of me. Like, I don't know about you, but as many times as I was angry, as many times as I've been in pain, as an artist, I transmuted that into a manifestation and a creativity that has got me to where I am now. So really transmute and you're being guided in this energy. Um, now to those of you who are on a divine counterpart here, right here, uh, you may be reuniting with your partner. Um, and again, I do feel like there's a little bit of limbo energy through the motion of the healing that needs to take place. So do your healing if that's what you want. 
do your healing before this occurs so you can come in with loyalty and hope and you know the, the you know the, the divine masculine that you are hunsy okay so i hope this helps my loves have a beautiful 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 blessed weekend um king of wands come on y'all i love y'all peace